big group welcome back to the channel so today we're back working on Frankenstein and uh, I have a bad tumbler on this side it looks like a uh, previous owner might have taken a screwdriver to it because uh, it wasn't working um, this is kind of janky um, I'm getting carpal tunnel syndrome trying to turn this thing uh, let me see here here's the key it's stuck it gets stuck on the indent indentation whatever you want to call it so, so today I thought I'd do the uh, tumbler in the door and uh, that way I'll have two ways to get in the truck and uh, I won't have to worry about frozen door locks or anything and uh, I already started here a little bit this just pops up uh, got a, this was the uh, previous owner pop that out of there but uh, we'll get that fixed and uh, I'm gonna get started here thought I'd bring you along six millimeter bolt in here. That was easy enough. I'm doing this totally unrehearsed. I'm thinking the uh, tumbler is part of the door handle assembly. So we'll get that out. And I'm looking. That'll be. We'll just pop it on there. If I'm lucky. try and show you where the other bolt is for the door handle let's see if we can you see it in there hopefully you do it's just to the right of that red sleeve and once you get that out I think the door handle will pop out
try not to lose the bolt down in the door. One more, and but I think I might be able to change this without having to take the door the whole way out. So um, there's just a couple clips to take that apart, and in fact, I think if I I'm pretty sure I can get this without having to take the whole door handle out. So, um, the, the tumbler comes with new locks, or I'm sorry, new retainers, and we'll uh, give this a go here. <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about that anymore. The, uh, the stud is so rusted, it just came right out. So, I'm going to pop this off of here. So, the stud came out of the, the handle. You can see where it's cracked here, so I'm going to uh, undo the the red sleeve right there and uh, pop that one off of here too. Okay, so this clip here got a little safety here to keep it from popping off, so you've got to kind of pry this up or you can just have at it because uh, the, my, at least my kit came with a new one and then just like that There's a little let's get a flashlight on this. There's a snap ring in there, and you can see it right here. See the two points there? So you gotta pry that out and slide the tumbler through the front. down far enough and the plastic will open it up enough
out she comes. And you can see how that's kind of boogered in there. And uh, it worked a couple times, but that's frozen, locked up solid. Now I can't get it to do anything. So in the trash she goes. I'm kind of surprised it didn't come with a new clip. This thing, and you see down here, I mean, there ain't much holding that together. New tumbler. And this part go went at least on this side. This part went on the bottom. And uh, you've heard the expression every tool has a hammer side, right? But let's get something a little bit more rambunctious. There we go. She's in there. Let's squeeze that together a little bit. And yes, they probably have a tool for this, but I don't have it, so we'll do it the uh, backyard way. did get a new one of these but just going to reuse this one nothing wrong with it now well, except for the fact it looks like they made a change so uh, yeah very much so So, I will be changing it. <laughs> so, what am I doing here? I'm trying to get this thing out of the... There we go. Like that. And this goes in here like this. And there she goes, just like that. I didn't bring the key down with me, but let me go get the key. New keys. Just like that. And you can't put it on wrong, because if you do, see how it's offset there a little bit? So if you have offset wrong, you're not going to be able to uh, make the swing. Alright, let's go put this back in the car. 
Okay, I just reversed the process of how I took it apart and uh, got it back in there. And I think you can hear it locking and unlocking, which didn't do before. And while I'm in here, I'm going to uh, lube these uh, guides for the window. Um, it works pretty good when it's not cold or freezing, but uh, it struggles a lot when it's uh, frozen. So I'm going to take a couple minutes and just lube the snot out of it. I'm just going to take a couple minutes and lube it up. Trusty can of synthetic transmission fluid and uh, so I'm just going to go in here and pull this plastic off and squirt up these guides a little bit run the window up and down a couple times and uh, hopefully that will keep it from freezing in position on a cold cold morning so if you work on your cars I'm sure there comes that time in your life where you wish you hadn't touched it. <laughs> Today is one of those days. Um, the window was acting a little wonky going up and down. I thought I'd grease the rails and all that kind of stuff and I'm running up and down and it broke. So I ran over to Napa, not a sponsor, and had to get a new regulator for Frankenstein. I mean the window's down, I didn't have much choice and I need to have the window working. So. Um, gonna yank it out of there I've done this before it's been a while so yeah let's see how it goes problem I have at the moment, oh yeah I guess I can get to that one, but you got to attach, get the glass off the, get the glass off the regulator. doing this on your own. Um, one thing I know about is glass. I got scars all over me to prove it. Um, when you're doing this, and you probably know as well as I do, you can beat the side of the glass with a baseball bat and won't be able to break it. But you touch the edge with something that's too sharp and just do with anything more than a chip on there and that thing will shatter on you. So, be careful. Let's see. Oh yeah, it goes down. There we go. Just want to get the glass high enough. There we go. And I'm going to stick a hammer handle in there to keep the glass from coming down. And then I can take this regulator out.
unplug your motor. There's no graceful way of doing this. pieces now I see the problem here look how that bound up so there was no fixing that all right let me put this down So when you're doing this, just make sure you got it all together before you in the right direction when you go to put it in. The glass sits in those saddles with the rubber. And there's two of them, of course, one for the front, one for the back. And make sure they are both pointed downwards before you go putting your, uh, your motor in there. And then, uh, Oh, it looks comes with comes with the hardware too. See the bolt in there? I'll take those out. Right, here we go. Okay, pretty nice. Like the new one came with studs, so you just pop it through the holes there, and it pretty much locates the rest of it for you. Um, I gotta put a bolt in here yet. Let's get that in there. Plug the motor in, and I think, oh yeah, we gotta we gotta put the glass. See the edge of the glass there. We gotta put that in these saddles right down here. So I'm gonna take the hammer, take the hammer out, and we'll drop that glass in there. That and come up now.
on this front guide for so long. It caught on this thing here, so I'm gonna take that out, I think. Let's see. Yeah, must have not just been in place. There we go, that's much better. Perfect. Alright. Let's slap this pig back together and uh, call her a day. And while it may seem like a pain, you do want to keep this here because even though the adhesive's shot now, but um, it does protect the door card a little bit. Here we go. Got that out. I'm going to go put it back on here, like this one is. I'm going to have to spread, eh, maybe I won't, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to open that up a little bit. Not a big deal, but... That's how I'll keep it in place a little bit. So let's put that back on there. Just like that. And I think <laughs> piece of cake. Let's put this plug in. And if you ever need to oil your your tumbler, you take this out and you can squirt that with some WD-40 or transmission fluid or something. I prefer transmission fluid. It seems to last a little longer. But uh, I think we can call this one a wrap. So thanks for joining. My next project is to replace the tumbler. My next project is to replace the tumbler in the ignition there we go over here and uh, clean up my tools here and we'll call it a day so thanks for joining me uh, if you like the video please subscribe and hopefully we'll see you soon for more on project frankenstein all right have a great night